Good evening, everybody. This is the Isometric Professional Wrestling Organization, and tonight is the premiere event of our brand new pay-per-view and our premiere event for the eFed that I'm running. And here we go. It's our first match is Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Nature Boy Ric Flair. And this promises to be a wonderful evening. We've got one, two, three, four, five events plus a huge main event, which will be a Royal Rumble style battle royale with eight wrestlers from our federation. So let us begin and I'll see you out in the ring. Strong making his way to the ring is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Steve's looking to make a name for himself early on in this company. And he has the opportunity to do it tonight. And his competitor for tonight is the Nature Boy Rick Flair. Now Rick came up to me before this program and told me that he was going to set an example for the rest of the year tonight. He said, hold on to your butts, it's going down. Fight. And we're underway. <laughs> and already with the low blows, Rick Flair is known to pull out every trick in the book. He's starting off with the with the tricks early with a kick to the groin area. That's gotta hurt. A series of slaps there by the nature boy. And Irish whip over to the ropes. Uh, comes out to nothing. Nice body slam by Stone Cold. Oof. Showing the strength of a young-ish Ric Flair. He's completely putting him over his head and onto the mat. And now he's working on his body here. A couple stomps. Nice suplex by Stone Cold. Oh, and he shows how he feels about Ric Flair already. Showing the double birds. Been testing each other out. And oh, Ric Flair with a nice pile driver there. And a stomp on the legs. And Steve Austin returns him with a kind of body slam. And these two men going at it. A series of slaps and chops to the chest. Steve going to the top ropes. Oh, and he misses with the elbow. But that doesn't seem to face him. He's going for an early pin. Uh, no way. A little too early for that, uh, Steve. Nice body slam by the large man in the ring. He's got him in a headlock. He gets out of it. He tries to lift him overhead, but uh, Ric Flair is showing some unusual strength today with a suplex. And again, he reverses Stone Cold's attempts to suplex him. Oh, a knee to the back section. He's going for the pin. And no. And Stone Cold moving around the ring with an elbow to the ribs. Go for the Irish whip, and oh. And oh, a pile driver by Stone Cold. Right on top of Rick's head, out. And Rick's got him in a hold there. I don't think that's gonna do him in. Nice reversal by Steve Austin. Oof. And he slams him down onto the mat. 
Goes after his chest with a series of stomps. Ooh, a DDT! This could be it for Ric Flair. One, two. No! Two count. Ric Flair's not gonna get beaten that easily. Cameraman needs to calm down a little bit with those Irish whips. Oh, and Steve Austin catches Rick and slams him to the ground. Rick looking a little worn out here. He's a little groggy standing up. And Steve doing what he does best. Oh, another return low blow from the low blow earlier. Oh, he's running out of breath on that, <laughs> on that run. Man may not be what he used to be. Don't tell him I said that. He's got him groggy again. See if he can take advantage here. You know, maybe the long winter, uh, they didn't get as much training as they would have liked to uh, start the season off. But, uh, the men doing their best. And Rick throws him into the corner and puts him on top of the post there. And can he bring him up? No! Steve Austin reverses and comes down on him hard with an elbow from the top rope. Wow. Rick's got him in the corner, and he misses again. Steve Austin uh, looking very agile this evening. And a DDT! Rick Flair's got him in a hold. And Steve reverses it once again. Another elbow to the ribs. Steve Austin really working the body of Frick. And keeps going for that hold, but Steve keeps reversing it. Another DDT by Steve Austin. This could be it. One, two. No, two count. Throws him into the ropes. Ooh. Sends him to the ground. He's in the mounted position. Just pummeling his head over and over again. This could be a knockout. But no, Rick gets out of it. Cameraman needs to calm down a bit. Series of chest Haven't heard any woos yet, but uh, nice series of chops there by the two gentlemen. Use the term loosely. They both look a little worn out here, and oh, going for the armbar, and that's it. That was it. Ric Flair wins. Oh no. The match is still going on. The ref confused me there. Not sure what he was doing. This is a new ref, of course. Oh, and a nice low blow by Ric Flair. Showing off to the audience. He's trying to work an ankle lock on the Stone Cold there. Slams him to the mat. Sends him falling out of the ring. And he's going to go after him here. Oh, just biting on his ear. Rick! Rick! Stop that! You can't do that. These two men absolutely punishing each other's bodies. Relentless. Relentless attacks. Oh! Ric Flair tossing him out of the ring once again. He's going for a suplex! Yes! Steve's the first one up. Ooh! Well timed low blow there. Rick! I know you're looking at me right now, but you gotta stop with that. You're gonna get disqualified. Oh, and he finds, somehow finds a bat under the ring. This could be bad. This could be ugly. 
Nice reversal by Rick. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh. ten, nice eight, move there. 12, 13, 13, yeah, they get back in the ring before they get counted out. Both men absolutely exhausted from pounding each other's taking off. More stomps to the inner thigh of Brick Flair. Boom. DDT! I don't know what his plan is with the brain and throw the ropes, but can he do it? Is this a three? No. Flair gets out of it somehow. Somehow. And he returns the favor with another DDT of his own. Scoops him to the middle of the ring. Go for another suplex. Yes! Incredible fight going on now. Body slam by Steve Austin. Yeah. Sends Rick Two. out of the ring. And what is the Two. cameraman doing here? Must be an intern. He's going for the pin. He did it! Stone Cold Steve Austin is the first ever winner of the Isometric Special Wrestling Association. pay per view. That was incredible. Four and a half star rating. Amazing. And it ended him with the Stone Cold Stunner at 19 minutes and 22 seconds. Well, folks, we will uh, continue on soon with our next match being The Rock versus Andre the Giant. And actually, I was planning on cutting and doing some editing, but I don't feel like it right now. Um, so we're just going to, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of my roster. So let's just go straight into the next match. Um, this will be the entire pay-per-view event tonight, if I can keep my voice intact. Uh, so, the, so that was our first one. The next is, what is it? It's going to be The Rock versus Andre the Giant. And here we go. Hopefully the camera won't screw up this time. What the rock is there he is, the people's champion. It's the rock. We have a stacked roster in this federation. It'll be really interesting to see who comes out on top. There he is, the giant himself, Andre the Giant. Absolutely massive individual. Should be an interesting match for sure. Exactly the camera angle I set up, but uh, it'll do for now, I guess. <laughs> and we've got a lariat here. Andre with a body slam on the people's champ. He's champion of nothing right now, but maybe he can work his way to a title match. And he sends the giant into the corner. And Andre flips him back onto the mat with a nice body slam. Two gentlemen, both very athletic for their size. 
Oh, and he's got him in a bear hug. And then he gets out of it. Andre looking to make quick work of The Rock here, but if you know anything about The Rock, it's that he never quits. Phew. People's elbow right into the face. Andre the Giant. Andre with uh, some serious headbutts there. Now he's got his hands over his mouth, trying to restrict his breathing. Breathing's very important in this business. And he's got him in a neck choke, showing his absolute power in the ring. Series of slaps to the chest. Probably doesn't even phase Andre the Giant. Oh, and he sends him to the One, ring. Two. And a little piece of scaffolding has fallen down and somehow attached to the Ooh. crane that is holding Five the camera. Minutes. So we have a little piece of scenery following us. And Andre, back to covering the mouth of the rock. Another elbow in the face. <laughs> Andre returning an elbow. Showing off his strength there. Sending the rock to the ground. And an elbow to the midsection of Andre the Giant. Tries for a quick cover and fails. Yeah, if... The Rock wants to win this fight. He's going to have to wear down Andre. He's much bigger and stronger than him. And if he can outlast him, perhaps the Giant will run out of steam eventually. Ooh! Brutal slam there by Andre the Giant. So the Rock's just getting in any damage he can early on. Oh, another brutal slam onto the mat. Incredible toughness here. Oh, sends him right into the mat there. You know, The Rock is doing pretty good here. He's just getting in some pot shots on the Andre. And hopefully he can rope a dope him and outlast him until the end of the round when uh, he runs out of steam. Ooh, Andre. Brutal headbutts by the big man. <laughs> Andre says, no way you're not going to be able to lift me, son. Ooh, big old stomp by the Size probably 150 boots. Andre the Giant. Oh, Rock gets out of that hold there, but uh, gets hit anyway. Ten minutes gone. Boom. Oof! Another brutal attack by Andre. Knee to the chest. There. Big man has speed. And a diving elbow to the backside of the rock. And the rock missing there. He's going to have to really turn the tide around. Andre does not look like he's getting tired at all. He is very athletic for a big man. Surprisingly quick on his feet, too. Nice, uh, I don't know what that was, a DDT or something. Okay. Rock's showing a little bit of life now. But it's been mostly Andre during this match, but see the big man is trying to catch his breath. So now's the time that the Rock can get back into this fight and tip the scales in his favor. Another big headbutt by the Giant. 
And he's speeding along. Ooh. The humongous chest of Andre just getting to him. Knocking him to the mat. DDT! Another slam to the mat there by Andre. You know what? That move is not a DDT. It's an RKO. <laughs> I just remembered the name of it. I get the letters confused sometimes, but... Oh, and s Andre oh. sends the rock outside of the ring. Well, the rock quickly gets back in. And he's got him in that other hold. And that's it! The rock gives up! Too much for him to handle. The win goes to Andre the Giant. Yeah, Andre pretty much dominated that match. Not a great star rating. Two and a half. Uh, can anyone challenge the big man? He's going to be tough in this federation, in this promotion. Um, I have a feeling that he's going to be tough to beat. So... Andre getting the win tonight in our second match. And up next is Sting versus The Undertaker. That should be very interesting. And let's go right into it. Because I feel like doing them all right now. So we got Sting. And where's The Taker? The Undertaker. Let's see what other costumes we have for him. Okay. Oop. I don't want that one. All right, Sting versus The Undertaker. Another normal match. We have still a lot coming up, so stay tuned. I wish my cameras didn't screw up. But, you know, it is our first show. There's going to be a few bugs and bumps, but uh, we'll get through it. There he is, the icon. Sting. Man is an enigma. And oh boy. There he is. Well, I should give him a manager of, uh, oh, what's his name? But. There he is, and he's lonesome, The Undertaker. Fight! And we're off. Another Irish whip into the ropes. Sting says no. And just throwing punches and kicks any way they can in the start of this match. Ooh, nice uppercut slap to the chest there. And, and similar to what we saw Andre the Giants beat The Rock with, Undertaker gets him in that hole. That big old bear hug. I know we just saw the Andre the Giant, but uh, the Undertaker is quite a massive individual himself. Maybe if he makes it through this match, sometime in the future he can take on Andre the Giant. But right now, Sting's doing a good job uh, holding his own against the big man. I'm gonna have to fire the cameraman tonight. <laughs> Or at least give him a talking to. And he's going for the suplex. And he nails it. And he's sting to the mat quite easily. Hmm, a backbreaker. Hmm. 
They keep trying to send each other through the ropes, but uh, nothing's come from it. Nice headbutts by Sting. And Undertaker sends Sting into the corner, but he's grabbing by his belt, and Undertaker says no. Not today, sir. Nice diving elbow here. Oh! And a knee right to the groin by Sting. Five minutes gone. Got an elbow to the back with the icon. He's going for the pin. And two count. More headbutts by Sting. He's holding his own. Oof. That's one of his signature moves, I believe. Not sure. And two count here. Sting, of course, making the rounds to all sorts of different promotions back in the 90s and 2000s. Ending up being, I think, general manager of TNA Impact. Not sure what he's doing now, but, well, of course now he's with us. But Sting was one of my childhood favorites. Uh, I like his entrances when he came in on the cable from the rafters. And the Undertaker getting him in a brutal hold there. Sting was good to get out of it. But, uh... I want to see if Sting will pull out his infamous bat that he uses that he used so often in the in the WCW era. This is mostly where my viewing experience comes from. Watching as a kid. Oh! Big man taking a flying leap onto the chest of Sting. And he's really going after his chest there. Maybe he sees some kind of weakness there. A series of uppercuts. It's gonna do some serious damage to him. You can see he's very groggy. Big man showing his speed. Sending Sting to the mat. This may be a mismatch. Oof. And Sting is going for the pin and two count. Taker's gonna set him up for something big here. Sending Sting into the corner. Ten Going to the ten. top rope. What's he gonna do? Oh, Sting with a nice counter kick to the face. Big Ben going for speed again. Oh, DDT. Or an RKO or whatever that was. Bulldog? I think that was a bulldog. <laughs> I get all the wrestling terms confused. I apologize. Correct me in the comments if I get a move there. Okay, nice elbow to the back. Very popular move with uh, all the wrestlers and isometric professional wrestling organization. Some say IPWO used to stand for International Professional Wrestling Association, I mean uh, organization, but those people would be wrong. Oh, nice suplex going for the pin, and no. Can't quite do it. And showing the strength of Sting. Bringing the big man over his head. Making a nice woo to the audience. I was hoping he would do that. Audience loves. Sting does the woo noise. Ric Flair, a strange absence of woos earlier. And the Undertaker goes for the pin, and no. Sting kicks out. This is a much more exciting match than the previous one. Nice punches to the face. Undertaker's going for the pin. No! Sting kicks out again. Showing the true fighting spirit, but uh. Oh my goodness, Randy. 
Randy the cameraman needs <laughs> some lessons here. Yeah, I gotta fix the cameras here because you can't really tell what you're doing. It's like on the cameras. There we go. Okay, I can manually fix it. 19. There you go. I could be a what is it called? A stage manager? Television producer? <laughs> Just do all the camera work myself. There's even a mode in the in the uh, mod pack where you can do mouse camera movement, so you can literally be the cameraman. Cameraman simulator. It's kind of fun to do it, but I don't think I can move the camera and. Uh, commentate at the same time. That's just too much brain power. <laughs> but, uh, it's a good match so far. Both men showing incredible strength and agility. And, oh, he's got him in the lock. The scorpion death lock. Can he do it? No. Undertaker gets out of it. Immediately goes for the pin. And Sting says no. Ooh, big boot. Right to the face. Oh, RKO. This could be it for the Undertaker. No, oh, he gets right back up. Going for the pin again. Can he do it? No, two count. Oh, uppercut. He's been absolutely destroying each other in the ring tonight. Very good show, sports. Sports! Punches to the chest and some boots to the back for good measure. Oof! Some nice headbutts by Sting here. Anyone throwing him into the corner? But Sting brings him up and. Puts him over his knee like a naughty child. The Undertaker cannot be brought down so easily. Both men absolutely showing their resolve. I'm walking along the top rope there, this big man. He did it! The Undertaker defeats Sting! That was an incredible match. That should be four or five stars. There you go, the dead man is victorious. Yep, four and a half stars. Rope walking. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Undertaker getting over on Sting, the icon. That was an excellent match. I very much enjoyed that. So much that... Uh, that's giving me a breath of fresh air. Let me grab this swig of water real quick. So my throat doesn't dry out. And all right, next we have a tag team match between the Hardy Boys versus Randy Orton and Shawn Michaels. That is correct. All right, so let's set that up here. Uh, not the hearty boys, but the hard D boys. There we go. And <laughs> it's the delete version of <laughs> Matt Hardy. I struggled with which which Hardys I would go with, but the delete is just so funny. If you haven't seen that, look up um, Broken Matt Hardy. No, not Broken. Woken Matt Hardy. It's, it's pretty hilarious and ch cheesy at the same time. Um, for his debut, I think Jeff Hardy, we're going to give him the classic paint from his impact days and an unusual pairing is uh randy orton and Shawn michaels they have not had a lot of experience wrestling with each other as partners but uh they'll make a go of it tonight where is Shawn michaels i know he's here there he is i need to really organize these by like alphabetically or something there we go. This should be a very interesting match. The high-flying danger duo of Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy, the Hardy Boys, versus 
the ath- very athletic Randy Orton and HBK Shawn Michaels. And so uh, make sure Deke Williams is the name of our referee, by the way. Um, glad he's joining us. I wish I could figure out how to fix the cameras right away, but that'll have to wait until our next pay per view. So right now, you know, I wish another feature that could should be added is like in fire promoter mode. You can set up the whole card and it and put it on auto, and it'll just do the whole thing. But in exhibition, you have to set them up one at a time. I wish you could just uh, do a whole card right in one go. But anyway, all right, let's get this started. Hopefully, there'll be no issues. I screwed this up. <laughs> False start, ladies and gentlemen. This is live television. Uh, I want them to come out as a team. Since this is a tag team match. So let's try that again. I'll get the kinks worked out eventually. Maybe by season three. There we go. That's the right music. Hardy boy. Jeff, his iconic, really cool makeup that he does himself, I think. He's a, actually a really good artist. Uh, really. Uh, Jeff Hardy being one of my favorites when I was in my second era of watching wrestling. When I was really into uh, TNA Impact. In the earlier 2000s. There you go, it's Randy Orton and Shawn Michaels. The one with Orton's name this year. This should be a very interesting match. I don't know how it's going to go. And Matt and Orton in the ring first. Matt Hardy with a nice body slam there. Nice elbow to the chest. Yeah. Flying Mare by Randy Gordon. Little test of strength here, and oh, nice, neat little trick there by Matt Hardy. The leg sweep. Yeah. Oof. And showing Randy Orton his own move. RKO. Another RKO. He's just rubbing it in the face of Randy Orton. Trying to get an early pin, but no. Nice uppercut by Randy. And Shawn Michaels gets the tap. And two men will work together. Like I said earlier, these uh, two have not fought a lot of tag team matches together, but... Uh, We'll, we'll see how it goes. Could be started something brand new. And Matt makes the tag to Jeff. Jeff gets in there. Jeff's super fast and agile. Probably one of the speediest wrestlers in the world of wrestling. Glad he's on our roster. Two men going at it. This is not a great camera angle for a tag team match. Matt Hardy's big ass is in the way, so let me let me cycle and find a good one. Oh, you know what? That one's a lot better. That's this one's close to my default camera. Actually, it might be my default <laughs> camera. All right, we'll we'll stick with this. It's the number four on the keypad. I wasn't paying attention. I uh, don't know who the legal man is right now. Three men in the ring. Okay, it must be oh, Jeff and Randy Orton. And Jeff Hardy giving it to Matt. 
Yeah, nice body slam by Matt. Oh, that was a nice little move by Jeff Hardy, showing his athleticism as usual. You know, I like this uh, this matchup. Everyone seems to be in similar similar size and ability. I think it's a good matchup. Ooh, he's going for the choke there, but uh, Matt denies him. Jeff Hardy's going to get in the mix here. Jeff Hardy not doing much to help his teammate here. Oh. He goes for a drop kick, but uh, completely misses. And now Shawn Michaels is in the game. The heartbreak kid. This uh, edit looks kind of funky. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a see-through shirt or what. I don't really like that look on him too much. Six, seven, eight, Jeff trying to put a hold on him, but not when Randy Orton's right there. Ten, this may eight, be a good tag team. 12, They're doing pretty well. 13, 14. well Jeff is a lot uh, smaller than the two, but... He is, has speed on his side. He is good with the holds. <laughs> Actually, I just realized this is like my camera angle, but like 90 degrees in the wrong direction. You see the, the logo in the ring is facing the wrong way. <laughs> but that's okay. It'll work for now. Like I said, we'll try to work out the kinks for the next episode. And Shawn Michaels putting the lock on the face yeah. of Matt when he gets out of it. And he's going for a speedy move, but uh, decides against it. And Randy working the arm there. Oh. Usually a good plan. Something Randy Orton likes to do a lot in his matches. He uh, works the limbs. So they become useless. Matt Hardy being really aggressive in this match. I like what I'm seeing. Then we got Jeff coming in. There we go. That's some teamwork, some brotherly discipline being laid out, being dished out. I don't know what HBK is doing. He's and a swanton bomb. Or a moonsault, or one of those. I get them confused, but I love when Jeff Hardy goes aerial. One, and two, he's not going after his opponent. He's going to let him come back in the ring. He wants a piece of HBK. And, ooh, a double one, suplex two, by the brand new tag team. Jeff gonna try to make his way back to tag his teammate in. Ooh, nice drop kick by the lover boy. And Matt's coming in. Nice double drop kick. Two brothers. And Jeff with an unorthodox low blow there. I don't know if he meant to do that. And here goes HBK. And he tags Orton back in. Ooh, nice kick to the face by Shawn Michaels. And Jeff's not gonna let Randy get him. Another low blow by, by Jeff Hardy. I don't know what their deal is tonight. I don't mean Randy Orton, I mean Randy the cameraman. <laughs> and Randy working on the neck with Jeff Hardy. It's also very possible that uh, Jeff Hardy can't see with the paint dripping in his eyes. But he's been doing this for years, so I'm guessing he can wrestle no matter what amount of makeup is in his eyes. Oof! Nice drop kick by Randy Orton. 
Brings in Shawn Michaels and misses with a drop kick. And Jeff throws off Randy. Jeff proving to be a squirrely guy here in the ring. And HBK trying for the pin. Matt Hardy says no. Nice. Let's kick their head. Oh, Matt Hardy's got Shawn Michaels in a lock. And he gets out of it. Man is still Jeff Hardy. He's getting worked over here. You know, the best I've seen of Jeff Hardy was in like the tables, ladders, and chairs matches. He goes like to the top of the freaking auditorium. Just his high flying maneuvers. This is not a strong suit in just a regular, simple match here. He might be outmatched by the other tag team here. But time will tell. Things can get pretty chaotic in IPWO. And Matt Hardy going for the pin, and Shawn Michaels denies him. I can't get over Shawn Michaels' funky looking. Edit here. It looks really strange. Yeah. Two men exchanging blows to the face here. Yeah. Big stiff arm to the man. But Matt Hardy gets right back up. <laughs> Deke Williams uh, quickly getting out of the way there. been pretty good so far. And the Hardy Bros. The Hardy Boys really working over Shawn Michaels now. This could be a turning point for them in the match. And Jeff Hardy going high. Ooh, yeah. Swanton bomb. Flash move. And he's holding him for Matt. <laughs> Matt completely whips on a drop kick, but he gives it a second chance and nails it. Yeah. And another RKO. And he points in the face of Randy Orton, showing that I can do that move too. You're not the only one. HBK's got to get the tag in soon. Randy Orton comes in, the fresh man. They're working together quite nicely, actually. Yeah, pretty good match here. Actually, quite enjoy the uh, tag team matches in this game. Yeah. Another uh, double drop kick by the brothers. And a low blow. That's more Matt style. I'm going to take him to almost the corner here. <laughs> Matt Hardy loving the attention here. The sold out crowd at the MGM Grand. Might be able to work into a finish here. Oh, another RKO. And he's going for the hooked leg pin. And he did it! The Hardy Boys! They pulled it off against. Shawn Michaels and Randy Orton. That was a great match. Very much enjoyed that. Matt Hardy looking really good in that match. I like that. So we got four and a half stars, which is uh, really good. Can't ask for better than that in an undercard. So excellent. Very happy with that. And we'll go ahead and go on to the next one. We have... One more match before our Royal Battle Royale main event. And it is another tag team match. This time between the Hart family. Where is he? Jim Nedert. 
And you're gonna like this. The new day. The new day. It's gonna be Kofi Kingston. Oops. Uh, let's give him something similar in uniform here. There we go. That has some pink in it. All right. But all four men rocking the pink. I like it. Uh, we'll go ahead and get Big E in there too. Why not? He'll uh, be on the sidelines there. All right. So we got Brett, the Hitman Heart, and Jim Netter in the Heart family or the Hearts. Uh, fuck is it called it's not heart family i wrote it down as heart family it's heart something heart foundation there we go versus the new day i don't think there's a trombone in the game but uh i have a real trombone if you want to hear one <laughs> of course your announcer here played trombone semi-professionally in a past life um but for now let's go into this Really exciting tag team match. I'm looking real forward to it. New Day, always exciting. And, of course, the Heart Foundation. Classic, classic. Here they come. Brett the Hitman Heart. And Jeff. Hayden. The Heart Foundation. Give it up for him. It's a new day, yes it is. It's a new day, yes it is. Accompanied by Big E. It is Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. The new day. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump. Okay, I'll give you time by the way. Always great to see these competitors. Fight! Right, here we go. Here we got Brett the Hitman Hart versus, uh, I believe that is Kofi Kingston? Yeah, I think that's Kofi. The uh, pigtails. Nice uppercut by Brett. Oof. Big punch. And a backbreaker. By the Hitman. He's showing really aggressive already. Kofi Kingston, of course, a high flying, very athletic wrestler in our promotion. If he can get going, there's no stopping. Nice knees to the midsection there. And he's going to bring in Xavier Woods. And Big E standing by watching the action. And oh, nice running drop kick to Brett, the Hitman Heart. He's lucky Brett uh, didn't go for the, for the tag. Or Tries to put him in a choke, but uh, Brett gets out of it. And now he'll bring in Jim. Niederhart. Need Need Nederhart? Nedhart? I always don't remember how to say his name. <laughs> but, uh, oh. Xavier Wood showing his strength. Yeah, big knee to the ribs there. Kofi comes in. Kick by the men. And just exchanging punches to the face here. Trying to see who can take the most punishment. <laughs> and Jim wins that battle. Jim, a very, very powerful man. He is definitely the, the muscle in the Hart family. Kofi says, I've had enough of this. Get in here, Xavier. Five minutes gone. Ah, 
Xavier just let Jim go all the way to the corner to get Hitman in. And here they go. Double suplex. Nailed it. Hitman had a nice little break from the action here, and he should be roaring to go again. Oh, a nice reversal by Xavier Woods. Not sure what's going on with his little curled up shoes, but uh, kind of digging it. Brett uh, goes to the top rope and then uh, changes his mind. A little early for uh, top rope antics. And he's just going to bring him to the center of the ring, give him the old elbow rooney. Nice RKO there. <laughs> Brent's not having any of this tag team nonsense. Ooh, nice uh, jump onto the chest there. With the hitman. And he brings Jim back in. Jim's raring to go here. And with a backbreaker on the knee to Kofi Kingston. Men almost ran into each other. Another backbreaker there. <coughs> the Heart Foundation, uh, very impressive in their days with the uh, WWF and the WCW. Uh, I'm not sure if Jim made it to the WCW. I know Brett did for a while, but I don't remember exactly which promotion they were with. When they did all their dirty stuff. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> mm. And Kofi gets the tag in. And two men are gonna <laughs> do what they do. They're a great tag team. They have such chemistry together. They work very well off of each other. One. And just a one count there. And here comes Brett the Hitman Hart. Xavier Woods going top rope. Besides, you better not. Does an RKO instead. He's going to choke him out. Oh, Brett gets out of it. Says, so that's not how you're going to defeat me this time. Another elbow to the ribs there. <coughs> He's going for the pin. And just a one count. Brett's still in pretty good shape. One thing about Brett Hart is his endurance is really good. He can go the extra mile in a fight. He's very good in long fights. His exercise routine is incredible. Triple uppercuts to the face there. Kofi gets back in there and tries to wrap him up, but uh, oh, I thought he was too close to the rope, but uh, uh, ref Deep Williams says no. Yeah, a little bit of chaotic action here. Brett makes a tag and Heart Foundation with a nice suplex there on the Kofi Kingston. Oh, nice kick to the face. He's going to bring Xavier Woods. I bet they could wish they could bring Big E in. Big E looking on helplessly. Let's see if Xavier can do something here. A nice kick to the face. He's going to pull him into the middle of the ring and try to put the choke on him. And Jim gets out of it. Get to the back of the head. And just a one count. Jim is also very good in long fights. Ooh, a big boot to the face there. He's going top rope. And ooh, a big flying leg drop there by Xavier Woods. I didn't realize Xavier was so hairy. Oh, 
And Kofi with a simple kick to the leg there. <laughs> Xavier is showing up to the crowd. He loves the attention. This is a big crowd favorite. Oh, he's wrapped him up here, but uh, Bret Hart comes in and saves the day. in the ring. Another brutal series of uppercuts by the Hitman. And he's going to wrap him up in the figure four. There's some kind of hold like that. It's hard to tell in this game like, what exactly the hold was. But that's what you got to do in the isometric world of professional wrestling. Oh, he throws him out of the ring. If this is a battle royale. He'd be out. That's, of course, uh, coming up next is our main event. Eight-man battle royale for the championship. That's right. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line in the eight-man battle royale. Up next. We're going to have to get back in the ring. They don't want to get counted out. Even Xavier wrapped up <laughs> while that was going on. And Brett with a nice suplex there. And Kofi Kingston showing off to the crowd. Maybe he's ramping up for something big here. I want to see him do all those cartwheels and flips on the ropes. Ooh. Big slam by Jim Needleman. Ned. Netterheart. And New Day looking strong right now. Figure comes back in. Jim denies any kind of fancy tag team work going on. Xavier goes top rope. Jim's starting to feel the pressure now. This could be close to the end here, folks. New Day, the New Day are super athletic. And their endurance is quite high as well. Yeah, high motor. High flying. Big leg drop misses. This could be the chance that uh, the Heart Foundation needs to get back in this fight. Brett should be feeling pretty fresh right now. Jim Ninderhart was out there for a long time. Let's see what Brett can do. Oh, Kofi. Looks like he's going for something big here. No! Bulldog by the Hitman. Both men are now exhausted on the mat. I lost the timer, but this match has been going on for quite a while. Xavier tries to go top rope, but uh, decides against it. You know, I wish Big E would just grab that kendo stick and throw it to Xavier or Kofi. Uh, I can tell you this, a little sneak peek. Uh, Big E is uh, coming up next in the main event. For the title, he will, he will be one of the men in Battle Royale. The rest are a surprise. And Jim Miller Hart is getting the work here. Big forearm to the face there. Xavier smartly tags in Kofi Kingston. The New Day is looking like they're not tired at all, but uh, Jim and Brett seem to be exhausted. And Kofi and Jim 
showing how much punishment they can take. And Kofi wins that exchange, but wow, Jim gets right back up and gives it back to him. I haven't seen either of these men uh, go for a pin anytime recently. Should probably think about doing that. He's going for the cover. One. And Xavier comes in and saves his tag team partner. Brett comes in and gives him a little punishment. <laughs> Not that close to his teammate, you know. Oh, he's got the sharpshooter. He's got it locked in. What is happening with the ref? He gets out of it somehow. What? Go for the cover? No. And Kofi falls to the floor. He's starting to feel the effects now. Kicks to the chest about that. This has got to be ending soon. Ooh, big elbow misses. Xavier is doing a backflip, showing that he's not tired at all. And, oh, drops him on his neck there. Oh, Brett's wrapped him up. This could be the end. Oh, so close. I thought that was it for sure. This is a great fight. Brett slamming him to the gun, going for the suplex. Nails it. He's got to wear Xavier out, or he's going to do some serious damage. To him. Ooh, nice pile driver by the hitman. And he brings Jim back in the mix. See what these guys can do. Roy area, but Big E's having the time of his life down there. He's really enjoying watching this battle. Kofi's really fresh right now. Great. Kofi does it! The New Day win! Yes, Incredible. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. Defeat Brett the Hitman Heart and Jim Netter Heart. Ned, Ned Hart. Ned Hart. Not Ned Hart. Okay. But the New Day win. That was exciting. Excited to see what the New Day can do as a tag team here. They're, that was a five-star rating match. Awesome. A little over half an hour. Excellent. That was amazing. I am so freaking hungry. But despite that... We're going to go straight into our main event. Get excited. <sighs> All right. So this main event will be. Because um, I think I have to get out of this to set up the. No. Okay. I wish this was like a uh, fire promoter. You could set up things. Um. This will be a heavyweight championship match. I don't know if it'll let me do a battle royale with a, with a singles title on the line, but that's what's going to happen whether it lets us or not. So let's go to settings. I'll make sure I do this right. Over the top rope. Uh, on. Is that how that works? Limited matches one, CPU level four, speed, rope on, elimination. Hmm. So, looks like it might not let us do that. Let me try the non title match, see if that opens up our settings. Elimination, no. This may take me a few, few times trying to get it right, but. Uh, Hmm. All right. Well, let's let's put the the wrestlers in there. I can reveal that for you. So, first wrestler in our main event is going to be. Where is he? I know he's in 
know he's on here. There he is. Bam, bam, Bigelow. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way. Hulk Hogan. Um, Kurt Angle. And then it's going to be Big E, who we saw in the last one. We should probably give him the same costume he was in in the previous match. I doubt he would be good for a candidate for a costume change. <laughs> um, next is going to be Edge. And then Mick Foley. That'll be exciting. Love Mick. Uh, who's next? Reza Ramon. Where are you? There he is. Does he have a gold outfit? Oh, they didn't put a gold outfit for him. Oh well. Reza Ramon. And then. Uh. Missing somebody. Oh, Ray Mysterio. And which Ray do we want? That's good. There should be one more in here. Hulk Hogan. Kurt Angle. Oh, Bam Bam didn't make it. Bam Bam Bigelow. There we go. That's a good looking Bam Bam. Um, <clears throat> all right, Whew. so we got to make sure this is set up right. Oh, there we go. So I guess once you put all eight people in, you can make it elimination. Um, over the top rope on elimination on, I believe that's how you set it up. Is that it? We don't want a team. We want individual run-ins. No. Outside. On, outside, off, cut play, I don't know what that means, DQ count, uh, they're not going to be going outside the ring anyway, but All right, we'll try this, if it doesn't work we'll have to set it up again, but we got everybody we want in there, can we make this a title match, or will it mess up, okay. Can't make it a singles title. Cause it'll mess up our thing here. So, oh, crap. All right. Okay. I see what it did. Darn. We gotta start over. All right. Mm -hmm. Kurt Angle. Razor Ramon. Doesn't matter what order we put him in. I wanted Hulk first, so he comes out last, cause he's probably. Our top draw right now. Do McFoley. Mc, oh, McFoley's already in there. Um, we're not doing two McFoleys. Bam Bam. Boom Boom. Bam Bam. Uh, Big E. Shisa. Get him in the right uniform. There we go. Look at Big E going for the for the heavyweight championship. Um, Ray. And who is the last one? Edge. There we go. This will be good. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now, over the top rope on. Outside off. Elimination on. Let's hope this goes the way I want it to. All right, so without further ado, let's get ready to rumble. Here comes Bam Bam. And the music's not working. Excellent. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, maybe he decided he didn't need music tonight, but just his presence alone uh, it's out fear into his opponents. Hope the others have music. Okay, Razor Ramon's got music. Making his way to the ring, the bad guy, Razor Ramon! I love Razor Ramon. Whether he's Razor Ramon or Scott Hall, I love him. And here he is. Everybody's favorite Olympic medalist. Gold medalist, rather. Kurt Angle! <laughs> oh, he didn't come in last. That's good. Well, here he is. You all know him. You all love him. This red and yellow running through his veins, brother. It's the immortal Hulk Hogan. Oh, Hulkster, always the fan Amazing. favorite. Here comes the rated R superstar. On the stage, I see clearly. It is the X Factor in this match. I think he's going to be great. I always liked it. I got into him toward the end of his career. And then, like, he retired, and I was like, oh crap. Oh, here he is. The ultimate underdog. Ray Mysterio Jr. He was one of my favorites as a kid too, just because of his high flying. We all wanna go big, then say that. <laughs> and making his way back to the ring is Big E. Probably his biggest match of his life. Right. We got one more. Here he is. You love him. You love him. Hardcore legend, Mick Foley. Now this is straight up Mick Foley. No Cactus Jack. No Mankind. Straight up original. Mick Foley. And here we go. The Hulkster is starting off against Mick. And see what they can do with each other. And nice suplex. Getting him out of the ring there. And Mick already going to the hardcore with a. I almost said bacon wrapped. A barbed wire wrapped baseball bat. <laughs> the Hulkster with the suplex is out of the ring. And where does he keep getting these, One, these baseball bats with barbed two, wire on them? Three. Incredible. <laughs> Hulkster, a freaking enigma. Probably the most popular wrestler of all time. I think he's going to have a really strong showing in this match. And as of right now, he's probably our biggest draw in the promotion. In the E-Fed. Hulkster going after Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio is very, very small, but he is super fast, super agile, and does all kinds of crazy moves. Hurt Karana for the pin. No. I don't love Mysterio. And Bam Bam and the Hulkster teaming up for the first time. Never thought I'd see that, but that's what, how we do in isometric professional world wrestling organization, LMNOP, what's it to me? And Edge coming in. Wait, I just realized this is not a battle royale. <laughs> I totally screwed this up, my bad. Uh, we gotta fix this. Uh, 
I forget how to do a battle royale? Is it return to the menu? Is that how we do it? There we go. Okay, it is off the menu. It wasn't under exhibition, it was under battle royale. My bad. Over the rope. Okay. I wonder if it'll let us put the title on the line now. That would be cool if it did. Alright, so Hulk Hogan. Freaking. <coughs> um, Kurt Angle. Edge. Razor Ramon. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about all the uh, coughing and the working out the kinks in the in the program here, but we'll get it worked out eventually. We got Bam Bam, Rey Mysterio, <coughs> and Big E Bomb. Change the ring back to our ring. We're still at Madison Square Garden slash MGM Grand Garden Arena. That's where we're actually at. Winnie Deke Williams is our referee. Okay, it will let me do it. Okay, awesome. Now I know, now I know. For the IPWO Heavyweight Championship, this is your battle royale. And I will skip all the introductions. Because we saw them already. Six. Oh, me. All right, this is more like it. Fight. Okay, Battle Royale. I cannot change the camera, so you're gonna have to just watch the mayhem unfold here. Oh boy. Edge getting thrown in the corner. Kurt Angle doing. Body slams here. Hulks are going to town. Rey Mysterio tried for a for some kind of Irish whip move, but uh, didn't pan out. Bam Bam Bigelow. Oh, it gets reversed by Big E, taking Bigelow out of the game. Bigelow is out. Big E eliminates him over the top rope. Wowee, wowee. Big E putting Edge in a big uh, bear hug there. Uh, Raising Ramon, telling him he's smarter than everybody else. Ooh, nice reverse by a Hulkster. Uh, getting Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle, of course, being the... Olympic gold medalist. And Kurt's got him in a lock with the hooks here. Rolls out. And Mysterio. Trying to send him away. Kurt Angle gets him. He's putting a hold on Mysterio. Who just got eliminated? Not Edge. Not Razor. Mick Foley! I didn't even see it. This is such a chaotic, such a chaotic melee going on that I didn't even see the elimination. But uh, Mick Foley is gone. There's Ramon and the Hulkster really going at it. These two men of similar size and strength. Big E putting the hold on. Uh, Mysterio. Mysterio tries for the, for the pin there. I guess I forgot to turn pins off, but that's okay. This isn't the Royal Rumble. It's just a battle royale. This is for the championship, so pins probably should be a good idea to keep them on. And Edge is going to see what he can do against Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon being the baddest bad guy. Uh, he's actually one of my favorite wrestlers growing up. Played the heel so well. You just gotta love him. Yeah. Yeah, I mostly saw him as Scott Hall. But he chose. Oh, and Kurt Angle gets eliminated. Kurt Angle is gone. Where's Big E? Big E is gone too. They must have taken each other out. 
I gotta stop yapping and uh, pay attention. Poor Rey Mysterio. Just getting thrown around all over the ring. And, oh, I heard Karana tries to wrap him up too close to the ropes. It's a good job by Deke Williams, our referee, to stop that. And Mysterio puts him on the top rope. He's going for something big here. And oh, nice suplex off the top rope by Rey Mysterio Jr. And her Karana wraps him up. Going for the pin. And no, I just, I just get some out of there. Hulks are still in this. He's uh, our number one ace right now. Or maybe he's not. If he doesn't win the title, I guess he isn't anymore. But uh, everyone expects the Hulkster to show up to this. It's a nice kick by Rey Mysterio. And another Hurricanrana. Tries to wrap him up. But uh, T. Williams too focused on the edge there in his hold. And he misses the possible pin. Hulk's yeah. big 24 inch pythons, brother. Throws him out of the way. And, uh, let's see what he can do against Rey Mysterio. And Razor Ramon's gonna take a chance with him. And. Oh, Edge almost got Razor Ramon, almost eliminated him, almost won the championship, but uh, got out of it, like, at the very nick of time. Ten minutes gone. And I said earlier before the match that yeah. Edge was going to be the X Factor. He's still in this. Let's see what he can do. And Hulkster and Edge working together. Oh. Razor Ramon, the only remaining heel in the match. And doing some damage to Ray. He wants a piece of the Hulkster, but Hulkster says no way. Sends Ray flying. Yeah, Razor Ramon doing quite well in this match. He's very strong and very brutal in his, his attacks. And Ray's trying to go for the win here. He wants the championship. Three. He did it! Okay, so a pin is an elimination. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> I'm the one who set up this thing. I don't even know how the rules work. But. So Razor Ramon's out. It's only Edge, Mysterio, and the Hulkster. Oh, Ray kicks out at the last moment. How hilarious would it be if Rey Mysterio, the smallest guy on our roster, gets the heavyweight championship? There is no cruiserweight division in this promotion. He has to fight the big boys along with everybody else. If I were Rey Mysterio, I would try to stay away from Hulk until I absolutely had the person. Yeah, I would focus on Edge. Just because of the sheer, sheer size of the Hulk And Hulkamania is running wild in the crowd tonight. We'll see if he can hold on to the end. I wouldn't mind seeing a 619. I don't know if that's in the game, but ooh, a nice uh, slide into second base there. Her Karana tries to wrap up the Hulkster. And no dice. Yeah. Edge drops Rey Mysterio on his face. This could be it for Rey. Yep. Rey is gone. All right, folks. Here it is. Whoever wins between these two gets the IPWO Heavyweight Championship belt. And things are looking good for Hulk. Absolute behemoth in the industry. And I told you Edge was going to be the wild card. He may pull out something here. We're going to see. And Edge puts him on the top corner there. 
And oh, a big move from on top of the corner post. Hopes is looking a little tired, but he's going for the pin. Can he do it? Oh, almost. Edge kicks out. Amazing fighting spirit by the young man. People in the audience were cheering for the Hulkster here earlier, but uh, some of them are starting to sway towards Edge. And you can see just the brutal strength of Hulk Hogan there. And Edge going for the backbreaker on Hulk Hogan. Very smart to Edge catching his breath while he's doing the Irish whip thing. Send Hulk across the mat. And takes a little breather. Hulk's still just pounding away on him. And it's looking good for Hulk. And Edge getting a few shots in. For the Hulkster's face. Oh, and he's gotten got him in the. It's not quite a sharpshooter. I forget what his his uh, special hold is called, but. Hulk is out of it. Awesome. Overhand punches to the face there. Whoa, showing the strength there by Edge. Ah, the Hulk stir looks freaking huge in this game. Edit does anyway. I mean, I guess he was pretty huge, but. He looks so freaking good, I like him. It's probably my favorite edit in the game. Both men lying on the mats. They have had a rough, yeah. rough battle right out here. I haven't seen anybody try to put somebody over the edge in a while. Let's get the Hulkster. Hulkster wants to do it the old fashioned way. He knows he can beat him. Oh, no, no, he says. Oh, but Edge comes back with a insecurity to the head. Oh, oh man, extremely tired. Oh, Edge wants it. He wants the finisher. And Bulldog. Oh, folks are working on the nose of the Edge. I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, the big boot. And, ooh, a leg drop for the pin and the win. Great. He did it. The Hulkster. The crowd is going wild for the red and yellow. <laughs> and, uh, and one last leg drop for the man. And there you have it. He's our IPW heavyweight champion, Hulk Hogan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, an interesting night. We had a few fumbles, but uh, overall, I think it was a great production. And I will do all the spreadsheets and math in the meantime. And we will see you next month um, with the next pay-per-view on our schedule. I think we are going to Tallahassee, Florida, possibly. Um, but yeah, and this has been another isometric professional wrestling something, I don't remember, <laughs> organization production. And leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you like me doing this kind of stuff. This is fun for me. And uh, it took a very long time to set it up. Probably two full days of working on it. Um, and still got to iron out some kinks. But I think we will make progress soon. So until next time, I will see you around. Goodbye.